We're dealing with hurricane damage and insurance companies. You want to tune in. Thanks for staying with us here on Wink. I'm Russ McCaskey. And I'm Nicole Gabe. Now, state officials are working on getting a disaster tax relief benefit package approved to help Floridian residents and also visitors get back on their feet after any horrible natural disaster. Wink News reporter Annalise Rola is live here in the studio with this. Annalise, how far along are we on actually getting that tax relief? Wink News spoke with Republican Congressman Greg Stubbe, and he predicts that the bill will pass in Senate within the next month with bipartisan support. Stubbe also believes that President Biden will sign off on the bill. It's been a long road to get here, but the U.S. House just passed the Tax Relief for American Families and Workers Act. It is going to help every single person in my district, every single person in southwest Florida, because all of us were somehow impacted by Hurricane Ian. Florida Congressman Greg Stubbe, who represents the state's 17th district, has been pushing for the bill to pass. Every single citizen in my district is going to be able to deduct their expenses as it relates to Hurricane Ian that they suffered in that catastrophic storm. So if the Senate approves it, what benefit will Floridians with expenses from Hurricane well, everyone who had expenses will be able to deduct those expenses on their 2022 taxes. It would allow taxpayers who suffered damages from hurricanes to claim losses without itemizing deductions. And a person's losses would not have to exceed 10% of a claimant's adjusted gross income to qualify. Hurricane Ian has been an open wound for so many still dealing with the impacts. My first thought in the immediate is that it's long overdue. Uh, especially if we can limit this to people who really do need it. Um, and it, it's concepts like this that help build community. So I wish we had more legislation like this. It could help to heal those still hurting from the storm. We suffered a lot of damage and any financial assistance from the state is more than welcome. It is unclear when the U.S. Senate could vote on this bill. I did speak with Senator Rick Scott today, and he says he fully expects it to be signed into law. Senator Marco Rubio's office did not provide a comment. Representative Stubbe says if the bill passes after February 15th, tax filers should look to file an amended return for your taxes, for your 2022 taxes. Back to you. I don't know, at least thanks.